Thanks everybody for turning up. Joel Ben here, business analyst in the services team. Okay, so the first one is the collections registry search widget. It provides a way of um, quickly embedding a, a live, basically, Research Data Australia search um, or single record display within a web page. So people can, with three lines of code, they can basically dump a search into their web page um, that can, for example, showcase recent collections that they've contributed to Research Data Australia. They can also provide an implement, uh, a lookup function uh, that people can use to, to look for records um, or things with global identifiers. So they may want to look for a grant um, or a party with a specific identifier. Um, another use case for it would be to supplement a site search. So there may be portals out there um, that they want to extend with some results that they don't necessarily have within their portal by pulling stuff out of Research Data Australia that we have. Um, another use case for that would be providing users with a listing of data collections related to a, a specific subject. So that may be that on, on your website, you'd like to list all the collections that are available in Research Data Australia around um, Earth Sciences or something similar. So I'll just click on the widgets um, and you come into sort of the widgets landing page, which has a listing of all the widgets that are available. We'll go into the registry search widget at the top. So I'll just... So as you can see, the widgets themselves are really well documented. We have some use cases for how people might want to use them, um, a little description about the widget itself, um, quick links to the sections within uh, the widget um, documentation, the immediate downloads of the software itself, so the packaged up widget that people can install. Um, you'll notice that there's two widgets, uh, two downloads um, options there. The first one is just the, the source code as it normally is. The second one is a minified um, version, which is basically the code all um, stick, stuck together onto a single line, um, basically to, to make it faster for the applications uh, to read and, and download. And literally, the, as I said, they're, they're really easy to implement. There's, you basically copy and paste the code here and put it into your web page and you'll, you'll have a um, functioning um, widget. We have a few demos on the page to see to show people how they can be configured themselves. Um, so you'll see here it's just a result where they've actually configured a specific search in their um, configuration for the widget. So the user themselves uh, doesn't actually have a way of searching. There's just a, a list of records that uh, match the criteria of the, I guess, the developer or the implementer of the widget. Um, and then further down here, you can see that they can be customized to have a search box where the, search, the user can actually search for specific terms themselves. Um, and you'll notice that this is um, formatted a little bit differently or styled a little bit differently. And, and that's one of the customizations in the widget itself that allows developers to, to customize the look and feel. Um, and then down the bottom, in, this is pretty much the same across all of the widget documentations. There's a section on configuration, um, which probably doesn't mean a lot to me and to, to others, um, but it's, if you're a developer, you'll understand some of the properties and, and um, things that can be passed or implemented in the widget themselves um, to customize the look and feel um, and the functionality itself in, in the widget.